kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video in the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the 2007 Green Bay Packer Rebuild here on Madden 24. That is right, we are almost done with this entire series. That's right, we are almost done. It's close. I think we've got, what, two more episodes after this, if that, maybe one more episode after this because... We just got done with the 2022 NFL Draft, I'm pretty sure. So that means this episode is the 2023 NFL Draft, and then the next episode of that is the 2024 NFL Draft, and then we'll go... Actually, we have three more episodes remaining because we'll do the 2023 Draft today. Next episode will be the whole season, the whole 2023 season, and then the 2024 Draft, and then the next episode after that will be the whole season of the 2024 season, and that's where we'll wrap it up because we won't obviously do the 2025 Draft. So... Three more episodes. Three more episodes. This one, next one, and the one after. Three episodes remain, including this one. It's crazy. I hope you guys go and enjoy. If you do, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get started. This is what we are working with here in the 2022 NFL season. We won the Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes. He got his championship. He established his legacy as the starting quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. But we do have a little bit of a problem. You could consider it a little bit of a problem. Maybe you may think it's a big problem. I don't know. We don't have any money. We have about as much money as a 16-year-old who likes a little bit of the weed. So we ain't got no money. We're in big trouble. Patrick Mahomes, we had to franchise tag this offseason just to keep him around. We do have Jalen Hurts, but I don't know if I want Jalen Hurts to be the guy... For the next couple episodes, I kind of wanted to just end off with the Patrick Mahomes era. I don't want to really start another era of quarterbacks here in Green Bay because we already had the Rodgers era. We had the Robert Griffin the third era, and now we've had the Patrick Mahomes era. Technically, we had the Brett Favre era, but that didn't last very long. I don't really want to have a fourth era of quarterbacks in this single series. So hopefully we can keep Mahomes around. We might just have to keep franchise tagging him until, it's too, until the series is over. I don't know. That could be a possibility. The rest of the team looks very, very good in the offseat or in the draft. We drafted Bernard Raymond. As you can see, he's playing every single position as a backup because he's that versatile. We have Kenneth Walker as our running back. We have uh, Jaquan Brisker, Martin Emerson, Tariq Woolen. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn sexy, as the kids say. And this team is raring to go for a championship. At least I hope it is. I'm really hoping we get ourselves a nice, juicy, fat, thick championship. I do have to load in the 2023 NFL Draft class if I can find out where it is. Did I pass it? I might have. There it is. I did pass it. Okay, so 2023's Draft class, it's the one you guys know. It's Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Martin, uh, Will Anderson Jr., Anthony Richardson, all the guys you know and may or may not love. So, that's the class. We'll see who we take in it. I don't know. I do need to see what our draft capital looks like because I always forget. You know how I be. What's the draft picks look like? We have the Giants, the Panthers, and our own. Good to know. So we need to hope that the Giants and the Panthers are both sucky. We also have the Giants pick in 2024 next episode. Okay, so we can make some things happen. We can do some real damage with those picks if the Giants and the Panthers both have bad seasons. I will simulate to the, to the uh, middle of the season, to like week eight, uh, so we can do all the scouting and, and stuff like that. Hopefully, Patrick Mahomes gives us a good start to the season. We'll have to wait and see. We make it to week eight, and we're kind of slow start. Four and three, not kind of where I expected us to be. Mahomes kind of slacking off a little bit. Negotiations. There he is again. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. We're going to have to tag you. DK... We can't afford, unfortunately, unless I can move some money around. I guess I'll try. There's a lot of guys I want to bring back. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. But Mahomes wants $344 million. That's, that's a baseball contract that he wants. That's crazy. 
how much money Patrick Mahomes thinks he's worth. Well, I'll tell you right now, Mahomes, you're not worth it. You're worth more. Can I restructure any contracts? No, all of these contracts I can't restructure. Zach Martin's contract I can, Hargrave's contract, but these aren't contracts that are going to affect anything. Oh no, we're not going to free up enough money, are we? We're not going to free up near enough money to bring anybody back. DK Metcalf is going to take a walk and he's not going to come back. That's upsetting. That's very upsetting. None of these contracts are going to do anything in terms of freeing up enough money to get there. Wow, are we in a bad spot? Probably. Probably. Okay, so where did that free up? We were negative like, what, 120 million or something like that? Where did that free up? That gives us 5.8 million. Okay, that's uh, that's an interesting amount of money. I bet I can free up slightly more than that. Let me keep doing it. Let me keep on working. That's the wrong thing. I bet I can free up slightly more to be able to afford a couple of guys' contracts. Team salaries, most expensive players, and just scroll down until I find somebody who needs an ex or who needs a restructure. Buda Baker, perfect. Who else? Who's next on the list? Debo, no. Panay Sewell, no. Aaron Jones. I think I already did Aaron Jones. Or uh, Panay Sewell. Josh Allen. Yep, he can do it. There we go. Freeing up the money. Love to see it. Love to see it. Cooper. Cooper's allowed. There we go. Radio Ranger Joe. Who else? Creed. No, these contracts aren't even worth it. These are all rookie deals, I think. Okay, so that is it. That is all the money that I can restructure and free up. So how much did that leave us with? A little bit of a drum roll, please. Uh, 50 million, okay. 50 million is good enough to bring back at least two people. <laughs> Especially because some of these guys aren't that expensive. Vita Vey is not that expensive. Mark Andrews is kind of expensive. Okay, we can do this. We can make some dreams come true. We can bring some, some big boys back, some thick people. We can bring them back. Just not, uh, not everyone. I'm going to start with Vita Vea. We're going to get Vita Vea back because I love Vita Vea. He's coming back. Return of the King. Vita Vea returns. Mark Andrews, we got to have Mark Andrews back. It's just got to be the case. So Mark Andrews has got to come back. We're going to give him $6 million and we're going to give him $7 million And he's going to say thank you, million. $32 million remain to bring back other players. Who are those other players? The world doesn't know, and neither do I. Dre Greenlaw is one of those players. Absolutely. He's back. Perfect. $29 million. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson's one of those players. He's back. $25 million. Marquise Pouncey probably leaves because we have Creed Humphrey anyway. D. Ford probably leaves. I mean, he has to. I don't think we can pay him. Tony Pollard probably leaves. We have Kenneth Walker anyway. DJ Moore or DK Metcalf? Obviously, DJ Moore's cheaper. They're both 25. We probably should prioritize DJ Moore. Since he wants to be here more than, than DK does. So, let's give DJ Moore that contract. And he's going to return $18 million. I can't afford Patrick Mahomes. Uh, DK... We can bring we can bring both DK and and him back. Gilmore we can't afford. D Ford we certainly can't afford. All right, 18 million. That's where we'll leave it for right now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Do I even have money to trade? No, I have negative 275. Just just checking because I could probably trade a couple of those guys and get a decent value. But just just wanted to make sure. So the national focus. I don't even know who my scout is. Outside linebacker safety. Great. Perfect. Because we need outside linebacker. <laughs> let's go with... Let's let's still go with outside. I don't care if it's a weakness. Let's still go outside linebacker because that's what we need. Because D Ford's leaving. Let's get to week 11 so we can choose our private workouts. 
We beat the Falcons. That's a good start. The Bears are 1-6. Yikes. That's bad. We beat them. I thought that was going to be a classic Madden trap game. But we do end up beating them. And then we go to the bye week. So we have a 6-3 and three record. We're sitting pretty comfortable. We make it to week 11. Get some big upgrades for the boys. Where do we go from here? Focus players. Who are we going to focus on? Who are we going to focus on? I don't even freaking know. Devin Witherspoon's got all A's. He's looking pretty sexy. Um, Obviously, I would love to have Jalen Carter. He's a stud. An absolute stud. Christian Gonzalez is also a stud. Uh, let's do Jack Campbell. And then let's do... I don't know. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Let's go to... Uh, ooh, I just saw Sam Laporta there. Let's do Sam Laporta. So Christian Gonzalez, Jack Campbell, Sam Laporta. Those will be the dogs that we scout in week 11. All right. So... The only other thing would be these last negotiations here. Do we try to get DK back? Is that even worth it? Or should we just focus on another person? Because we're obviously not going to get D Ford. We're not going to get Marquise Pouncey. We're not going to get Tony Pollard. We can't even afford Gilmore even if I wanted to bring him in. I'd have to lower his bonus down a lot. And he already doesn't want to be here. So that's not going to be possible. The only guy that we can afford is DK Metcalf. So we might as well offer him if we can afford him. So let's give him a big fat contract and say, skippity doo -dah, welcome back to the Green Bay Packers. He's coming back. So what we'll do is we will use the rest of this money to franchise tag Patrick Mahomes another season. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah, let's do that. We'll franchise tag Mahomes at the end of the year and uh, he'll not be happy about it, but that's just going to be life. It's a video game. It doesn't really matter. So... I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. We're going to hopefully keep this winning going and make the number one seed and dominate the playoffs and win another Super Bowl because that's what we do. Let's find out if that's actually the case. I'll catch you guys at the end of the year. We bounce back after the struggle start in the halfway point, four and three. We ended up not losing another game and going 14 and three. So big W's, I guess that's huge. That's awesome. We eat those, and we're Jameis Winston. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what we do. We eat Ws. So, taking on the Panthers in the division around the playoffs, but we got to take a look at these stats. Mahomes leads the league by a mile in passing yards, 4,800 with 45 touchdowns. That is MVP PVM. He got it fronts and backs. That's how good he did. And then Stefan Diggs led the league in receiving yards, that's big W's as well. Uh, 4,800 yards, 45 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 73% completion percentage. Patrick Mahomes had an unconscious season. That's insane numbers. Zeke had a great year, 1,400 yards, 13 touchdowns. Stephon Diggs, we saw, led the league. He also had 1,800, or 1800 touchdowns. That would be crazy. He would had 18 touchdowns. Andrews had 1,100 yards and 14 touchdowns. Are we using Kansas City Playbook? Did I switch to that? I can't remember. I think I did, but I don't remember. In what world does Zeke get those that many yards in a Kansas City playbook? That seems crazy. Bolton led the team with 100 tackles. Hargraves had 94, 77 for Mac, 71 for Gilmore. 22 tackles for loss for Aaron Donald, 18 for Mac, 14 for Rousseau. Uh, 11 sacks for Khalil Mack and Greg Rousseau. 10.5 for Donald, 5.5 for Fowler, yada, yada, yada. Interceptions, or as I like to call them, PX. Three for Landon Collins. Two for Bolton, Hargraves, and Gilmore. And then one for a bunch of other players. I got to look at these playbooks. What playbooks are we running? I don't honestly remember. What playbooks are we running? Kansas City's offense. I thought that's what it was, but it just feels weird getting that many rushing yards with a Kansas City offense. That feels strange, but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. Playoffs against the Panthers. Come on, Green Bay. Big dubs, big dubs. Huge victory over Carolina. We now play in the NFC title game against division rival, the Detroit Lions, or as I like to call them, a Detroit. Let's... Go beat some Lion booty cheeks. Here we are, NFC title game. Lions, Packers, Bears. Oh my. Let's go get a W. 7-7. Seven, seven. Come on, Mahomes. I need you to channel your inner Mahomey and get the job done. 21-14. 28-14. That's what I'm talking about, big dog. There we go. 35-14. Yes, please. Yes, daddy. Yes. 
42 to 14. Let's go. Lions thought they could keep up with us, but we're too dominant. And we go to the Super Bowl once again. Another Super Bowl appearance for the Green Bay Packers. At this point, we're better than the New England Patriots dynasty, and that hurts my heart to say, but it's true. We have so many Super Bowls in this two decades that we've been doing, two and a half decades, whatever it is. We have so many Super Bowl appearances. We are just goaded on DOS sticks. That's how good we are. And we play the Denver Broncos, a new team in the Super Bowl. I don't think we've ever even seen the Denver Broncos in this series, at least. That's kind of crazy. Mahomes now a 98 overall. He, what, started as a 96, 95, something like that? I forget what he started at this episode. But here we are. It's Denver. It's Green Bay. Let's go win another Super Bowl. Super Bowl time. Broncos and Packers. Hopefully this goes pretty straightforward, but we'll find out. We lead 3-0 after a field goal. We didn't make that field goal somehow, and it's dangerous situation now. Denver kicks a field goal. They make it. It's... Oh, God, that was quick. 10-10. It was it was 6-10, uh, to 10, or 10-3, to 3, and now it's 10-10. to 10. We're into the second half. Denver's driving down the field. I'm scared. Denver keeps on dominating us, but we are driving now. Get that touchdown, big dog. Get that touchdown. There it is, 17-17. Force a punt and score. Let's do this. Come on. Put it in the end zone. There it is, 24-17. Now stop Denver, please. We did it. The Green Bay Packers are world champions again. Patrick Mahomes is a champion again. Ugh, that's good. Let's go, baby. Another big time W. The dynasty continues. Patrick Mahomes extends his legacy. Big ups for the good guys. I don't even know who the quarterback is in Denver. Was that? So I couldn't see the name. Could not see the name of the Denver quarterback. We'll find out when we get into the end of the game here. And there it is. Another championship. Another Lombardi. It's Marcus Mariota of all people is the quarterback of the Denver Broncos. All right. Whatever. Whatever. You do you, big dog. You do you. Another championship for the Green Bay Packers. Just keeping that trophy case fully stocked to the brim with amazingness. All right. So here we go. We either have to simulate this this week and run out of money, probably, most likely. Or we reject the offer of Patrick Mahomes and do it just now. Probably what he wants 420. I know you just won a Super Bowl again and you're the best player on planet Earth. I'm not paying you $426 million. You're not Shohei Otani. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the offseason. And then we're going to have to withdraw our, our offer from him and then just franchise tag him again. That's what's hopefully going to happen. Hopefully we can actually extend him. I don't know. Cross your fingers. Let's find out. Here we go. So we got Super Bowl week in the books. Let's take a look at the recap quickly. So Mahomes gets MVP and MVP of the league. No shocker there. He killed it. Stefan Diggs actually gets Offensive Player of the Year. That's amazing. We don't win any of the awards. Brees Hall and Aiden Hutchison are your Rookies of the Year. But that is our 10th championship of the video, of the series, I should say. Not of the video, of the series. So that means, we let me do some quick math here. So the Packers have, in real life, a bunch of Super Bowls. They have the first two back in the 60s. And then... I don't think they won any more until Brett Favre gets one in the 90s against the Patriots. And then they get another one with Aaron Rodgers. So that's four championships. So if I've done my math right, then we should have won six titles. So this is one, two, three. Oh, we did play. We played Denver already. Oh, that's right. Because this was the one that RG3 lost. To where we made the room for Patrick Mahomes now. Okay, that makes sense. So Marcus Mariota beat us in the Super Bowl. But we have three, four, almost five, five, six. I can't do six. You get, you get it. Yes, we have six championships. So I've done my math right. I am a smart boy. I did my math right. 
But we also have, if I can find it here, we have seven appearances. Eight appearances. Nine appearances. Nine appearances. We've appeared in nine Super Bowls and we've won six of them. That's pretty decent odds, if I'd have to say. So, six championships for the big dogs. Mahomes has got three. RG3 had one. No, that, that's not math. Well, yes, it is. Because RG3 had one. Rodgers had two. So, that's three. And then RG, and then now Mahomes has three. So, uh, I guess you could say the Mahomes era has been the most successful because we got the most championships out of it. Let's get to the offseason, figure out if we can even re-sign Patrick Mahomes or a franchise tag and whatever we have to do. We're going to have to do something, that's for sure. <laughs> we can't let this era end with a championship. So he wants $426 million. We got to withdraw the offer and then back out and then come back in. And hopefully it says franchise tag. If it doesn't say franchise tag, then it's the Jalen Hurts era. It says franchise tag. $63.9 million for another season. <laughs> Welcome back, Patrick Mahomes. I know he's not happy about it, but hey, we're winning championships. We're winning championships in the end. You can't complain too much. Would you rather have millions and millions upon millions and millions of dollars, or would you rather have millions and millions upon millions and millions of championships? Which ones would you rather have? And he's still, it's not like he's playing for free. He's getting $63.9 million. <laughs> so it's, he's not playing. He's not a bum. He's not playing for free. I'm still paying him a contract. He's still coming in and getting a paycheck. He's just not getting the guaranteed money that he wanted to get. So, whoop de frickin' do, you're gonna have to pay. Gilmore is the top free agent available. Uh, that was our guy, and we can't pay him. Stafford's here. Good for him. Von Miller, former Packer, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. We've had so many different players, I don't even remember who's been on our team. <laughs> Feels like we've had the whole NFL on our team at, at some point. Let's just get straight to the draft. That's what everybody cares about. That's what we're going to figure. I don't even know how good the Panthers and the Giants did. I don't even know if they made the playoffs, if they sucked. I have no absolute clue how good the Packers and Panthers were. So we could have ourselves a top draft pick. We could have the number one pick in the draft. That's possible. It's not It's not what it is. But I, I can guarantee, almost guarantee you 99.99999% we don't have the number one overall pick. But it's possible. It is that I left that one, that point zero 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 one percent possibility. I guess we'll confirm it right here. No, we don't have the number one overall pick. It's the Cardinals, but we do pick at number twenty four, twenty five, and thirty two. So the Panthers and Giants had good seasons, which is to be expected. That's okay. We can figure it out. We're big dogs. What we're gonna do? is something i don't know i don't think we're gonna trade up even though i'd love to have christian gonzalez on the team maybe we should maybe maybe we should trade up for christian gonzalez because i would love to have christian gonzalez on the team i'm a big christian gonzalez guy i really do think that'd be good so maybe we could trade up to get him josh allen nick bolton superstar now we need some we need some defensive line depth maybe maybe a little bit of defensive line depth and then we need obviously a backup tight end for mark andrews who's now superstar development by the way we need offensive line depth so we need to draft a couple offensive linemen everywhere else we're pretty good we don't really need a receiver okay so i got a plan i'm gonna trade one of my picks i'm gonna trade one of my picks up to get christian gonzalez and then I'm going to trade the other, or I'm going to draft the other player, which is probably going to be, um, what's his face? What am I thinking of? Sam Laporta. And then we're going to draft a bunch of offensive linemen. That's how it's going to have to be. So we're going to get, is there any good offensive linemen in this draft that are down the board? I don't think so. Oh, Dewan Jones is here though. I don't know if any of these offensive linemen are going to be good down the board. That's the only problem. We could be in trouble for depth on the offensive line, but we'll try to figure it out. 
We will try to figure it out. But let's make the trade for... I think the Commanders had that pick for Christian Gonzalez. So let's go to the Commanders. Oh, that's right. They're, they're uh, the other name. They had pick number 12. I'm pretty sure that's the pick that we need to trade for. Um, let's trade pick number 24. What's that get us? That gets us into the, the yellow. That's a good start. We also have three second round picks we can use. Uh, but I think I'm going to trade some 2025 picks because 2025 draft we're not going to do. So that gets us pretty close. And if I give like a fourth round pick in 2025, that should get the job done. No, it doesn't. What about if I give a third round pick in 2025? That should get the job done. No, it doesn't. How about a sixth in 2025? That gets it done. So now we have pick number 12 in the NFL draft. That should be good enough range to get, <coughs> excuse me, to get Christian Gonzalez. Yes, he's ranked or he's mocked at number 12. As long as he stays there, we should be in a good spot. And then the other pick we will use to take probably either Kincaid or Sam Laporta. And then at 32, I have no idea what we do. Actually, you know what? I should probably trade up with the Denver Broncos, take Sam Laporta with pick 32, and then maybe trade down from 25. Get another first round pick out of it for next year. Have three again. That's a possibility. Let me trade with Denver. I shouldn't have to trade more than just one for one, right? So if I trade 32 for 31 from the Denver Broncos, they should just accept this straight up, and they will. Thank you very much. All right, so now we don't need to trade. We don't have to worry about that pick uh, 25. We can just take over we want or trade down. So now that we're in a good spot for both those guys, let's simulate and figure out what this draft is going to give us. What do we got here? Start drafting. Number one pick in the draft is the Arizona Cardinals. They will take Will Anderson Jr. Then it's Devin Witherspoon. Then it's PJ, Paris Johnson Jr. Bryce Young is in uh, New Orleans now. Bijan's a Philadelphia Eagle. That's gross. CJ Stroud's in Miami. Tyree Wilson's going to Minnesota. Rams take JSN. Broderick Jones is blocking in Cleveland now. The Bears take Will McDonald. And the Colts take Jameer Gibbs. So everything falls our way. Christian Gonzalez is available. So is Anthony Richardson. But we're going to go with uh, Christian Gonzalez anyway. And we got ourselves a stud at corner. He's probably going to jump right into number three or four corner, I'd say. Probably number four. Depending on what his overall is. I don't even really know. But Christian Gonzalez is our guy now. And then we get to pick 25. Peter Skaronsky, Zay Flowers, Kalijah Kansi. Mozzie Smith. Mozzie Smith was mocked at number 32. That was our pick. He was mocked to us at 32. That's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens. Jack Campbell, Brian Bercy, Jordan Addison, Deontay Banks, Michael Mayer, Quentin Johnston, Emmanuel Forbes. The Patriots is interesting. And then Joey Porter Jr. Now we're here at 25. I think Anthony Richardson's still on the board. He is. That's kind of crazy. So at 25... This is the pick I was talking about possibly trading down. But since we're in a spot where a lot of these offensive linemen are still on the board, I think we got to take at least one of them. I know that Lucas Van Ness is here, and that's a very good option. But we need offensive line depth, I think, more so than anything. So we could take John Michael Schmitz. We could take Steve Avila. Or we could take one of the tackles like Anton Harrison or Darnell Wright. I don't really know what the, option, the best option is. I think it might be Darnell Wright. Let's take Darnell Wright here. I think that's the best player available for us, getting some offensive line depth. And then at 32, or 31, excuse me, we should be able to grab ourselves. Um, nope, Sam Laporta's off the board. Okay. Well, that didn't go to plan. Sam Laporta gets taken a couple picks ahead of us. That sucks. Okay. Change of plans. We'll have to go down the board a little bit and get one of these other guys, I guess. Or we don't have to focus on tight end at all. I was just looking for a backup, really. Um, we're not going to go for Rishi Rice, even though that'd be a really good one. Uh, we don't. He just wouldn't play, so it'd just be a waste of a pick, I think. I think this man or this this draft pick needs to be another offensive lineman. Schmitz, Michael Schmitz is still available. Anton Harrison still available, and so is Steve Avila. Oh, not Steve Avila, Matthew Bergeron. Those guys are all still available. I think I'm going to take Matthew Bergeron here because we need some guard help or some guard depth. So Bergeron, welcome to the squad. And I think for the first time in a long time, I didn't trade any of my first round picks during the draft. That's kind of crazy. We could have taken Rishi Rice. He just wouldn't have played. It wouldn't have made much sense to take him. 
Keanu Benton's available. That could be a nice little D-tackle uh, depth piece. But I do see my main man, Mr. Tyreek Stevenson. And I, you guys know how big of a fan I am of Tyreek Stevenson. Love that man. Great player. It would be another great cornerback option. And that's looking like the best player available. I do like Dayon Henley. I do like Josh Downs. I do like Marte Mapu. Tucker Craft, Luke Schoonmaker. All these guys are good options. Jalen Hyatt. Drew Sanders is a good option. But I think I can't pass up on the main man, Tyreek Stevenson. I, I can't. He's, he's just staring me in the face. He's too good of a player. He's way too good of a player. Plus, we have back-to-back, -back, right? Yeah, we do. We have back-to-back -back picks. So, we're sitting pretty comfortable. We can take somebody else now. We can take Keanu Ben. We can take Drew Sanders. We can take uh, one of the tight ends. Or... Marte Mapu. I don't really know what we need to take. What would be the best option? Would it be to take Mapu? Is a strong safety the best option? Maybe we should go with a corner, uh, tight end? It says we have four active strong safeties, so we don't really need Marte Mapu. But we do probably need Schoonmaker. I don't know if Schoonmaker has a development trait, but we're going to take him anyway. He does have a development trait probably star but so that's our backup tight end so we end up we didn't get one of the good tight ends but we got we like some of the second tier tight ends and then we have the 32nd pick in the draft so who do we take with this one we probably should grab ourselves a defensive lineman to give ourselves a little bit of depth so let's go to the defensive line zach harrison's available i think he has normal though defensive tackles it's not super deep anymore and then you got the middle linebackers, the regular linebackers. Trenton Simpson's available. I don't think he makes it to our 32nd pick of the third round. I do kind of like Trenton Simpson. He's super fast, super good player. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. It's really either Zach Harrison or Trenton Simpson. And, or maybe, I guess, Henley, too. But I'm going to take Trenton Simpson here. I don't think he's going to make it, so we're going to take him now. 91 speed, 95 excel at a linebacker is wild. That is actually crazy that he has that kind of speed. Pick 32 of the third round. Julius Brents finally goes. Tucker Craft still available. Keely Ringo. Um, running back, quarterback. Stetson Bennett, Hendon Hooker. Hardly know her. Wide receivers, left tackles, left guards. There's nobody really left, is there? Although a Timmy I like, even though he's from Meat Chicken. I do like him. I think he's a good player. City So. I, is, does City have a development trait? I don't remember. I don't think he does. I'm going to take him anyway, because we need more offensive line depth. So, City, welcome to the team. He didn't have it. I didn't think he had a development trait. But he's still good depth, nonetheless. We need more we need more depth on the offensive line. And then this will probably be the final pick that I actually make. We'll see who it is. Is it going to be corner O'Reilly Moss? Because he's hot. A lot of corners, a lot of receivers left. Don't think we need anybody like that. We have pretty good depth at both those positions. Safety we don't need. Corner we took two of them today, so we don't really need any corners. I think the only thing we need is like D tackle or, or defensive line or uh, edge rusher, I guess. But there's not really anybody that I want to take. I don't like any of these guys. They're not going to be very good. I kind of want to take you just because you have a, a you wore a beanie to your your uh, your picture, which is hilarious. I love that. So I kind of want to take you just because. And I think I might because I don't have any other options. You're going to be real bad. I don't even know who you are. Nesta Jade Sil Silvera. I don't even know what team you're on, if you're on a team. But I'm going to grab you because you, you wore a beanie to your, your portrait picture. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So you're on the team now. Well, maybe you get cut. Who knows? And that's going to be the final pick that we make. We'll let the CPU handle the rest. We came away with a good draft. The first round was pretty, pretty solid. We didn't get uh, the tight end we wanted, Sam Laporta. But that's okay. He got drafted a couple picks ahead of what he was mocked to. 
Christian Gonzalez ends up being an 80 overall. Darnell Wright, 75. Bergeron, 71. Stevenson, 72. Schoonmaker, 69. Nice. Simpson is a 72. City is a 71. And then the rest are a garbage. But that's okay because we had a pretty good draft anyway. Best player in the class was B. John, 85. Devin Witherspoon, 84. Anderson, 83. So is Jalen Carter. Zay Flowers. It's a good class. It's a good class. You guys know the drill. So, next episode is the 2024 NFL Draft. And then after that, it's no more drafts. So, two more episodes to go. It's kind of crazy. We're getting to the end. Let's auto -gener let's uh, generate the best lineup. Add in all the depth at offensive line. Now that looks pretty tasty, pretty sexy. Wide receivers looking good. Quarterback obviously looks good. And then on defense, we add a few more depth pieces to the defensive line. We add in Christian Gonzalez, who immediately becomes the number three or number four tight end, which is or, uh, actually we could even make a number three tight end over Martin Emerson. Why do I keep saying tight end? Corner. I don't know why I keep saying tight end. Uh, but we're looking pretty good. Another championship in the books? Probably. I'd have to say that's a pretty good shout that we could win another championship, but I guess we'll have to wait until the next episode to find out. If you guys enjoyed, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watch. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.